when using an electric induction motor, especially in an application involving some risk of accident, it may be convenient to have the motor stop quickly when turned off. Normally, when the current is cut off, the inertia keeps the motor spinning for several seconds and sometimes for as long as one minute, depending on the mechanical losses and inertia of the system. By adding this simple circuit, you can stop the motor almost instantly as you remove the power. In an induction motor that has just been switched off and is rotating by inertia, it is enough to apply a small direct current pulse to the stator windings so that the motor acts as a generator for a second or longer, inducing an intense current inside the rotor, whereby the squirrel cage rotor is inductively blocked, stopping the motor almost immediately. The circuit that is added and shown in green consists only of a rectifier diode D1 with resistor R1 in series to limit the charging current of an electrolytic capacitor C1. In an operating cycle, when power is supplied to the motor to start operation, electric power is also applied to the capacitor charging circuit so that while the motor is on, the capacitor reaches its maximum peak voltage charge. When the motor is turned off by means of switch S1, the capacitor is discharged through the motor winding, and the stator acts as a strong electromagnet, inducing an intense current in the short-circuited bars of the rotor. This current in turn produces a strong magnetic field in the rotor which opposes its motion, bringing the motor quickly to a stop. Once the rotor is stopped, it does not generate any more current and can be rotated by hand if necessary. At this time, the capacitor is completely discharged and will be recharged as soon as we restart the motor. Variable resistor R2 controls the braking force as required. The values of the components depend on the mains voltage used, the motor horsepower, as well as the friction losses and inertia of the system. Since there are cases where less braking current is required if the mechanical load is heavy. In a typical extractor fan circuit, using a one-third horsepower motor operating at 220 volts AC in a single phase, the components could be of the following values. S1, one pole switch, two positions. D1, 1N4007, one amp, at one kilovolt reverse peak. C1, 100 microfarads, 450 volts. R1, 1500 ohms, 2 watts. R2, 150 ohms, 5 watts. The values can be adjusted according to the motor horsepower and the operating voltage. I hope this video has been useful for you. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.